welcome back to Unicorn Dust Designs. If you're new to my channel, hi, I am Sammy. We do Dollar Tree DIYs with signs. There's always tons of laughter. I can promise you that. On one of my videos, I asked if y'all wanted a real-time bow tutorial video. I got so much feedback that you guys wanted it. So here it is. Let's get right in. First bow, we're going to do the finger bow. This seems to be the hardest for people. I hope I can do this in a way that you understand. You can also slow down YouTube videos. If you are watching from your phone, if you go to the top right and click the three buttons, and then it, oh gosh, what happened? Hold on. Okay, we are going to start with the finger bow. This seems to be the hardest bow for some people. So hopefully I could explain it in a way that allows you to catch on to it. There is a way to slow down videos on YouTube. I will try putting that in this video right after this tutorial. That way you can re-watch them in a slower format if that helps you learn. So for our finger bow, I'm going to start off here. This is going to be your tail. Okay. The longer it's out, that's how long your the tail of your bow is going to be. So I'm going to hold this here. I'm holding it with my thumb and whatever finger that is, middle finger. <laughs> We're going to use two fingers for this finger bow. Okay. So I'm going to go on top of this second finger, go down. I'm going to come up on that first finger. Now I'm going to take my long part. I'm going to put it through the hole right here. Okay. You're going to pull that through. Okay. See that? Sorry. Tighten that. Now we're going to take our long string again. We're going to bring it up and we're going to tuck it into that top piece and you're going to pull. Do you see how these loops never leave my fingers? One right here, one right here. And then you're going to pull and tighten. Now I'm pulling the string this way because that is the way the tails are facing and I'm just pulling it. Pull, 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 okay? And then you'll see when you're done that you have, I should have probably straightened that up, but you have a bow. I feel like that's so hard. Let's try that again. Two fingers, wrap it around the top of your finger. You're gonna come back around to the top of the first finger. You're gonna get your long tail, stick it through right here, if it doesn't fall out like that, pull it through. Now, do you see this loop right here? You're going to get your long tail, stick it through that loop, and you are going to pull this gross green ribbon. And you're like shimming it back and forth so that it tightens, okay? And then you have yourself a finger bow. This gross grain ribbon. Gross grain? Is that what it's called? I don't know. And then you would cut your ends off. Now let me show you real quick because I do it a lot with twine and it comes out a little better. So again, if you wanted just like a simple one loop bow, you're going to do the same thing. I'm holding it with my thumb and my middle finger. I'm going to go on top of the second finger I'm gonna go under and over. Let's see. I'm gonna do this one like multiple. So again, sorry, two fingers holding it. You're gonna go over, under. You're gonna go in between the two fingers. There's your, your loop we need to feed through. So feed that through and then you're going to pull. This is just long because we're going to do multiple. And then again, you're just shimming that to tighten it. And then you have a little bow. Okay. Now you can do this. It depends on how thick your ribbon is. 
You could do multiple loops of this. So you're going to do the same thing. You're just, so I'm going to get, okay. So I'm doing the same thing, two fingers, but this time you're going to go around and around and around and around. However many times you want to loop this. Okay. This isn't going to work for thicker ribbon. You could probably do like two loops maybe around your finger. And then again, I'm going to put it through my two fingers, pull it out. There's our loop. I'm going to feed it through. And then we're going to shimmy that again. And you just want it tight. Take your fingers out. I love the twine finger bows. And there you go. So you could like face it that way or this way, or I don't usually like the tails of them. So I cut them off like that. And then you can glue it on to whatever you want. So that is the multi loop finger bow. Again, you can slow this down and we're going to move on to the next one. Okay, so this one's going to be a big bow. I don't know what they're called, you guys. Okay, I don't know what different bows are called. We're just we're just going with it, winging it. All right, so this one I actually recently saw and wanted to try out. So hopefully I get it right so I'm not teaching you guys the wrong way. So we need seven pieces of ribbon total. You could do them all the same color. I chose to do three different ribbons. These are all from Dollar Tree. And I'm going to do two two and three. I cut these 21 inches long. All of them are 21 inches long. Okay. You are also going to need a zip tie. Now I love these little ones. They're cable ties. They're ultra light duty four inches because they're super tiny and you could get these at any hardware store. They're just here, get them in the white. They're very tiny. But you can also pick some up from, um, what do you call it? What is that place called? My favorite, Dollar Tree. Okay, so you're gonna want a zip tie. We'll just use the white one. And I'm going to start off by cutting dovetails. So an easy way to do that, if you have multiple ribbons, okay, you're gonna fold them in half. Fold them in half. Are all of them out here fold them in half okay you see that folded then I'm going to fold it hot dog style I don't know <laughs> okay I'm trying not to cover up okay then you're gonna go downward okay and then you got yourself dovetails and then you don't have to do it one by one and then you don't have to do it like one on this side, one on that side. Just save yourself some time. So we're gonna do the same thing for these. This one, little one is like bowing out everywhere. Okay, I gotcha. So that's those, we'll just throw those over there. And then we have these three. So folding it in half and then folding it in half again. And then cutting like a downward angle, like a half triangle. In another life, y'all, I wanted to be a teacher, an 11th grade English teacher. Crazy, right? Okay, so now that we, these are just going to go like that. Have all seven. Again, remember, I have not done this one before. Sorry about all the noise. You're going to gather them together. Okay, so I am folding it in half. And then at the top, I'm gathering it. That's it. I'm just like pinching it together. That's all. I'm like, how far down do I want to go? I think that's good. So then I'm going to grab another one. I'm going to fold it in half and then I'm going to just pinch it 
together. And then I'm gonna pinch all of that together. And then you're going to do the same thing. So now I'll grab this one. And I'm just a perfectionist. That's why I'm like trying so hard that they're like perfectly <laughs> in half, you know? And the same height. So again, I'm. this is kind of hard. Sorry, you guys. All I'm doing is scrunching them together. So another scrunch and then joining it to this one. So you could already see the bow forming, right? <laughs> this is kind of hard to hold this together. And then we're going to keep repeating the process. Don't ask me why it's seven ribbons. I don't know. You would think it would be like six, but that's just me liking even numbers. I don't know. So, and then I don't want, you know, the two next to each other. So I cinch this one and I'll probably stick this one over here. Then I'll do this one again, just folding it in half the best I can. I'm trying you guys to show you cinching it together. And then I'll put this one over here. Oh, this is getting harder. The thicker it is again, folding it. And I'm just cinching that, but this one I feel like needs to go. Ah. It gets harder the more you put on here. Okay, so here we go, right? See how it's all gathered right there. This is where we're gonna take our zip tie. I'm gonna hold it. It's okay if you squish those loops because we could fan those back out. Okay. Before I tighten that all the way, I just wanna make sure I don't need to move everything. So we got our little doodads, tails, and then you're just going to fluff out your ribbon, however you want. It's crazy how a bow comes to life once you start fluffing. See, now I'm like, I wish I would have placed that one. I don't know. I don't think it matters, you guys. I wonder too. Maybe it's supposed to go like that. It's just to be fun, full bow. Like you see these all the time on like wreaths. So there's that one. Oh yeah, yeah, I like that. And then if this was going on wreaths, so I'm gonna go ahead and tighten my thing, my zip tie, cut the excess off. And then you would then take all of these and they can go out, out, just flip them out like that. That seems to work better. And I got this side. All I'm doing is pushing these like out so that they'll stick out like if you were to put like your bow see that like on a wreath you could fan all of these out all I'm doing is pulling them apart right here that's all you need to do I'm like I just so you guys get the concept right that was actually a really easy bow. See that? That would look super cute on a fall wreath. All right, now I'll stop messing around with it, but hope you like that one. Oh, oh that's why 
You guys let me forget one. I was wondering why it kind of, we forgot one. So I used six in this one. It's supposed to be seven, but it still gave us a beautiful bow. So, hey. Okay, this is a bow that you see me use in my videos all the time. And I do it because it is by far the easiest bow that you can do and you can make it as many loops as you want. The only thing with this bow is the ribbon has to be the same on the front as it is on the back. You wouldn't be able to do it with um, like a ribbon that has a print on the front but doesn't have a print on the back. You wouldn't be able to use it with that. It has to be the same on the front and the back. So size is all going to depend on what you're working on. So I can't really give you a size. If you are doing a like, you know, let's just say this is the top of a wood sign, okay? What I do is I will kind of wrap my ribbon in a circle and then I flatten it and see how big it's going to be on my sign. And that's how I size mine out. There's no specific measurement that I can give you for these bows because it's going to depend on the size of your project. So let's go ahead and get into this one. I'm gonna do two loops here, okay? And all I'm doing is putting them in a circle. So I think this might be the easiest way of showing you. I am going to do, that's one circle. And two circles. Now you want to make sure that if you were to squeeze this together like this, you have two loops. Okay, one, two, they're so close together, and one, two. Okay, there should be two loops right there. You also want to make sure that this, your fabric, the tails are overlapping each other because if you don't, your bow's gonna fall apart. So let's say we got our two bows, right? I'm gonna cut. that right there. Okay. See that? Now, all you're going to do is squeeze your bow together. I like to fold mine in half so that I can find the middle point of my bow so that I don't have one loop bigger than the other. So I'm going to fold this in half. There we go. See that and then this is where you're going to cut your notches was right in that middle and I'm only doing little notches so look do you see that it's not all the way to the center it's like one of these little checks okay and you could still see I have a little bit of fabric there little fabric there okay so now we're gonna set that aside we need a middle piece of our ribbon. So I usually will do about like five inches or so. I'm gonna cut off. And then I'm going to, now you can use a stapler for this or you could use a hot glue gun. I'm gonna use my hot glue gun. You just need a light amount and you're gonna connect them. This is going to make a little, you know, cylinder. Come on, get over there. Okay, so you see that, our little cylinder piece? Voila. Okay, so we have that. So that'll go right there on our bow, okay? Now, if you want tails as well, we're going to do that here as well. So, I'm just measuring how long I would want my tail. That's good. So again, the length of the tail is gonna be preference on how long you want it. And again, I'm gonna do the same thing I did on the other one. I'm gonna fold this in half. 
fold it again in half at the end and cut it downward in like a half triangle. Or you don't have to cut the dovetails at all. Tail. I'm gonna get all of our pieces. I'm gonna layer our bow on top of there. Make sure my tails are nice and even. Get my cylinder. Put that right there. Then I'm going to take my zip tie. I'm gonna feed that through the cylinder. We're gonna flip it on around. And you want to make sure that you're getting in these notches of your bow. So I'm going inside the notches, going inside the notches. Pull. This wire does not like me. Now, before tightening this zip tie all the way, I'm just going to fan this out to make sure it's where I want it. Everything works. Everything's good. Yes. So I'm going to tighten it. Cut that excess off. So now you have your middle piece right here. And then you can make this bigger the the longer you go so like i said like mine's usually like five inches you can make it like 10 inches and then it'll be like fatter in the middle and then you're just going to pull i know it it probably makes you cringe but like you got to pull those loops out and then adjust your tails however i mean like if you were laying some if you were like laying this on something you could leave it like that or for me I would be pulling them down and then that's what it would look like this you guys I hope you guys get it this wire does not want to work for me so you see that? For yourself, a two loop bow. Now keep in mind, like I said, you can do this with multiple loops. You could do three loops, you could do four loops, you could do five loops, and all you're gonna do is make sure you pull this out. So there is your two loop bow, 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 bow. Okay, now I'm gonna show you another easy one. So this is going to be, I'll do a three loop. Okay. So I'm going to see how big I want my, my loops to be here. That would be a really small one. So I'm just playing around with my sizing first. Okay. Now this one, we're going to hot glue our loops first. We're going to make them all the same size. Hopefully, you guys, this Dollar Tree ribbon, man, it's cute, but the wire on it is like not the greatest, but I didn't want to like waste, not that I'm wasting, but I didn't want to play around with like my good ribbon since I'm not actually using any of the bows right now. Okay, making these all the same size. Now we are going to hot glue the ends together. So I'm just gonna put a really light strand. And like I said, I've seen people straight up use um, a stapler to do this. So you can also use a stapler if you would like. Another thin, thin amount, overlapping those. Easy peasy. So you got two loops and then three loops. So I, I feel like I'm going to say so a bunch in here. So sorry. Um, and um, that, that'll be another one. 
but you can do this two loops. You could do this one three loops. I probably wouldn't do four on this one, but that's totally up to you. Okay, so we got three right here. Now all we're gonna do, you're gonna flatten them out. Flatten them out. Okay, put them all next to each other. And now we are just going to scrunch them. I will also show you how to connect them in case you do not have zip ties on hand. Okay, so all we're gonna do is you're gonna find like your middle point and if you're like me, you can just easily fold these in half to find your middle point. Okay, so that's gonna be the middle. And since they're all the same size, I know this is the middle. So you're gonna start cinching them together. So I'm gonna use my pointer finger and I'm just pushing them. You could also do like super messy and just grab them, but that's just not, that's not my life, okay? So cinching, cinching, getting that other one. And then I'm just pushing it towards my finger, holding it with my thumb. There we go, okay? They're all cinched together. Now I'm going to take my twine and what I do is I just hold it down with one finger and I'm gonna start wrapping. I'm not gluing this down yet. I'm just getting my base. See how now it's there, it's around. And now you can totally tie this off, but what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, that is definitely not centered. Um, but you know what? I can make it look centered by doing this. So this is going to be the middle of our bow, okay? Now, if you didn't want this to be the middle of your bow, you would simply just tie it off in a knot. That's it. And then you can do that same cylinder middle that I used in the two loop bow that we previously did. So I'm gonna tack that off and then I'll take this one around a couple more times. Now, if you wanted a tail with this one, you would add it before you did this step, okay? And then you just fan your bow out after. So again, the better quality, I mean, this, these are good ribbon. This is good ribbon, I will say that. But um, like Hobby Lobby ribbon and stuff like that, the, the wire is a lot thicker. And so they'll look just a little bit more defined. I feel like anyways. And then go ahead and do that. And they could be as messy as you want. You could crunch them up. And you can do this with three different color ribbons. You can do it with one just like I did. You can put a tail on it. That is going to be up to you. So there you go. And like I said, this day, it doesn't like bleh. All right, I'm gonna stop playing around. So there is our three loop bow. You could do two loop. You could do this with one loop. And then there is three loops. Isn't that awesome? Stopping in again to say, I hope you guys are enjoying this video. I hope you guys are learning a lot. I know bows, that's Hank could be very overwhelming when you are trying to learn to make them. Let me tell you how many YouTube videos I watch and how many uh, blogs that I read over and over and over again trying to learn to create bows. So I hope this is really helpful. Please leave me a comment down in the comment section. If this has been helpful for you, make sure to join our Facebook group. Link is down in the description box and let us see all of the amazing bows that you create after this video. <laughs> sorry about the clicking. I'm not starting this over. All right, you guys, let's get back into these bows.
Since we already have this extra piece, I'll show you a very simple one loop bow, okay? So you have a long piece. I already cut the dovetails in this one. Again, length's gonna be all on preference. Next, I'm gonna take another piece of ribbon. We're gonna glue the ends together or staple them, you do you. You always want to make sure that you have enough, like your inseams are, you see how it's like overlapping? Cause if you don't, then your ribbon's gonna separate and you don't want that happening. So now I'm going to flatten this kind of, let's see where our middle point is here. Probably gonna have to cut this down a little. Or do I wanna do it like this? We'll do, we'll do the scrunch effect on this one, I guess. So you can either do actually this bow, you could stack it on top of each other and you can go like a little something like this. You're going to fold it in and then you're going to pull these sides back. You see that? So again, stacking it on, we're going to fold it together and we're gonna pull the sides back. I'm just gonna end up doing this bow like this. Okay. And then, let's see, do I wanna do it like that? Yeah. And then we're going to need to tie it off in the middle so you can get the zip tie or you can get your twine. I'll just go ahead and get twine. And this one, I'll just tie in a knot because I'm not gonna use this. Just tying in a knot. If you don't have zip ties, there you go. We will cover this up. Now, this is way too long, these. So I am just going to uh, how long do I want this? Fold it in half and then I'm going to cut it. We'll see once it's fanned out. And then I'm going to fold this together real quick just to kind of see where I need to cut this one down at. Is that pretty even? No. <laughs> You would do this step before you put your bow on top, but I'm using scraps. Okay, so there's that. And then you can, let's see how that would look. Again, see how I did not get that in the middle. Let's try to pull this out just a little bit. I don't want no lopsided bows. Okay. See, I want these a lot shorter. So I'm gonna cut these down again. It just doesn't look right with this. There we go. This bow would be like, if you wanted to put it like on top of something, you know? I'm just going to use this. Like if it was like laying on top of a sign or something like that, this is like the type of bow that you would use. This would also be a pretty like present bow. And then if you wanted to cover, I actually don't mind the way that that looks, but I don't have any more of this ribbon. So you can just take a piece of the ribbon and I am going to just fold this and you're going to put it on top. See that? And then you would hot glue it in the back. I hope you guys are getting something from this video and I'm not just like a hot mess and you guys are like, what? What the what? What is she doing? And I'm trying to think of like all the bows that I do, but I feel like 
mostly I do um, this one, the like where I just go around in a circle, but you can't always do that because you don't always have the same print on each side. So there's like the center of it. Okay. And like I said, the wire on the Dollar Tree ribbon is kind of wacky, but there you go. So this one, I'll just give you a measurement. This one's like over 36 inches. So what we're going to do is we're going to kind of, is that a pretzel? <laughs> I don't know. So you're going to go down. I don't know how to explain this. Make an X with the tails, I guess. Just watch what I'm doing. Just don't listen to me. <laughs> okay. So again, open it up. And then you're going to overlap what are going to be your tails, okay? So you got two tails, overlap them, okay? Now, however long you have these, that is how long your tail is going to be. So if you want them longer, pull it longer. If you want them shorter, you're going to pull it shorter. So you could see how this looks right here. I'm going to just, so you guys get a shot. I just overlap them. Now you are going to take this where they overlap and we are going to set it on top of that back piece. Okay. So again, you got your bow like this. We're taking where the two points meet this one, and then you're going to set it back here on your bow. So see that? Super easy. And now we, here, let me, I'll take this one. I'm going to take some twine here. Now you can scrunch this up same way we did the other ones. I'm just using my finger to squeeze these, okay? And then I'm going to take our twine and I am going to flip this around and tie it off on the back. Now this one you can make with little ribbon thick ribbon. Um, you could do it with anything. I recently redid like a Dollar Tree bow that was exactly like this in a Christmas video. And look at how easy that is, you guys. Super simple. And then, of course, I, uh, I used all of my ribbon, so I can't. Let me grab some more. Do a middle if you want. That looks a little too thick. And I'm going to be weird. And I'm going to fold mine so that our lace is just showing. When I put it over the middle. Okay. See how now just like the lace is going to show. So pretty. And then you can put this in the middle. This one, I'm not pulling tight on it because I feel like it'll get the bow in like a different shape and I don't want that. So I'm kind of kind of loosely. Put that on there. That's fine. Get this part. Put it through those tails. Now 
have yourself super cute bow. You can, you know, cut dovetails into it if you want. You could leave it like this. You can, um, I like to, where, where, where are you? Sometimes I like to go like this to the ribbon. This isn't holding. I guess I had Dollar Tree ribbon. Anyways, to do that like wavy effect. So there's that bow for you guys. For this bow, I needed something to put on this wood round. We made this in the membership group a couple months ago and I have not had the right ribbon for it. So I'm hoping this goes, I know this isn't pure white like the paint, but since it's up here and it's gonna be mixed with another ribbon, I figured why not? If you guys are somebody that um, likes to do wood rounds, I always just grab like my ribbon on the spool and I just play around with it. Like I'll hold it up, see how thick, how wide I want it. And that's really how I get like the measurements. I just play around with it. I'm not a measuring type person. I like to be super neat and precise, but like I like to play around with the measurements and not have like a set thing. So these are about 17 and a half inches long. And what I'm going to try to do is do the multi-loop bow, but I'm going to layer. So I'm going to put this one on. I'm going to put this one over. Wire man. And then I'm going to stack this one on top. And then this one. And then I am going to Oh, I think I want yeah, that on top. I hope this works. And then we're going to put them together. I'm going to overlap them quite a bit so that none of them are sticking out. I'm going to squeeze this together. Hopefully get the middle pretty. I'm folding it in half. And we are going to attempt to cut these notches. I'm just afraid because this particular ribbon, I'm sure is going to see how it's already like coming apart. So let's see. The only thing now is I'm going to need a center. So before I do this, I think I want, I wonder if I can try. I kind of want my center to be this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wrap it a couple times like that. I'm gonna cut this and then see if I could kind of just hot glue that and wear finger protectors I feel like I've done this so long <laughs> my fingers are immune already all calloused I should have probably tacked this down to the first layer I'll do that right now okay so this is gonna be my bottom Guys, okay. I hope this is helpful to you guys in real time. All right, I'm not gonna put any tails on this. I don't think it needs tails because the cheetah print is already bold enough that I don't want to overdo it. <laughs> me, me say I don't want to overdo it. That's funny. Okay, so again, we're gonna feed that cylinder through. We're gonna get this and put it through our slats here. They're right there and right here. And of course my zip tie is the wrong way. I'm going to feed that through. Make sure that my zip tie not is towards the back. Oh see that's not going to work. 
because you see how you can you can see the zip tie through it. So what I'm gonna have to do here, and that is why I did not. Okay. And this is scaring me because look at how this is falling apart already. You know what I'm gonna do with that? Nobody sees the back of it. I'm gonna go ahead and attach those because see these are already falling apart. It's okay, I like messy bows. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this into a cylinder maybe oh no that needs to be like way thicker hello I meant wider is what I meant because I want it to go This one, we're just kind of winging it, you guys, because I've never used this ribbon before. Okay, so can I tuck that in? Now I made it too big. Dang it. Help, help me, Tom Cruise. Like, come on, how big do we need to be to get inside? Okay, look. I don't even have to attach these together. Once I get this in there, the zip tie is gonna hold it together for us. Get in there, come on. You can do it. You can do it. I think my second child is awake. There we go. There we go. Okay, so where was the back of this? I think right here. Week. So now we'll stack this on top again. Hopefully our bow doesn't fall apart in the process. Okay. See, see how this is just kind of unraveling. I'm sure this is used more for like messy bows versus like these type of bows. So you could see, you could kind of make that poopier or whatever, but I like the way that looks. So let's tighten that off, cut the excess. And then this is where you got to pull. I think this is where, when I first started learning bows, I was like, oh my gosh, I don't want to like pull it that hard. It's going to tear the ribbon or like, it's going to look weird. And I promise it doesn't. So I'm gonna take both layers of these and pull them apart. I wanna see how they look together versus separated. You know what I'm saying? Like pulling the white out. I don't know if I'll like that. So I'm gonna just pull these. And again, you can like shape these however you want, however big you want. And you can see like this middle piece is so much fatter than like this one we did earlier, where I did a smaller center. So it's up to you and how you want your bow to look. Okay, let's pull these out. I don't know if I'm digging this bow yet. Let's see. I mean, it's a cute bow. I just think, yeah, no, this is too busy for this. I'm probably going to have to do just like a plain uh, burlap bow for this one, I think. What do you guys think? So, you guys, this is another example of the two loop, but it's layering. And then you can easily, too, if you had wanted to, attach 
um, tails to this by adding it to your zip tie. So like I could have done that and then added tails going out the side or, you know, whatever it may be. So that was the finish of the layered two loop bow has the fatter middle. And I think this is so cute. I'm sure I'll use it on something. And I've kind of learned that unless I learn to use this with something else, it's probably not going to be my go-to. You know what this would actually work with is probably like a bow like this, where you're gathering it and mixing it with other ones. That would be cute. So I should try that next time. Next up, we're gonna do a messy bow. I'm just taking a bunch of scrap ribbon, so who knows how this will actually look. But a messy bow is exactly how it sounds. It's messy and it's just a bunch of different ribbon layered on top of each other. So if you're someone that doesn't like the loops and all that stuff, this is going to be the bow for you. So I am, like I said, I'm just taking a bunch of my scrap pieces. I don't even know. I'm trying to get them, you know, a good, and you can totally, let's see, kind of the same length. Got some lace here we can cut up. And we're just going to cut up a lot of our ribbon first. So this is a great way to use your scrap pieces because you know there's always that little bit that's left on your spool and then you take it off and you're like, great. Great, what am I supposed to do with that now? But this is a great way to use those pieces and make a fun bow. Yay. This would also, that ribbon that I was having difficulty with earlier, this would be a great bow to use that in as well. Let's try some of this, I don't know, this jean material that I had left over. Cut, cut, cut. Okay, well, that, yeah, that definitely is not the same size. Oh, you guys. Let's you get know what's funny is I bought fabric scissors when they were on sale last time at Hobby Lobby. And do I have one pair because they came in a two pack, one pair over here? No, no, I don't. Of course I don't. Um, I don't know. I feel like it needs like this messy burlap in it. Like I said, it's just supposed to be messy, so it doesn't matter. These don't have to be perfect pieces. I should probably do one more cut of this so that okay, I'm going to cut this side seam off because, like I said, I want it messy. Messy, messy, messy. All right. If this is helping you, comment down saying H-E to the double hockey sticks. Yes. I mean, you don't have to say that, but just be like, yeah, this is so helpful. Okay. So with this, you're just going to kind of just crisscross it all over the place. You're going to stack them differently. You're going to layer them like all different ways. It doesn't have to be perfect again. And then the strands can be shorter too. Let's put like that one in there. Put like another. Hmm. No, that's already that way, so I'm not gonna do that. That one right there. This one. 
this one, this one, this one, and then that, that one. And you can see, like, all I'm doing is layering this stuff on top of each other. Does not need to be perfect. And maybe I'll keep this one out and wrap it in the middle. Haven't decided yet. And then I will get a some twine. Who's there? Hello. Mama, I guess so. All right, now I'm going to take some twine. I'm going to just set it on top. I'm going to flip this on around. And I'm just going to tie it. And you want it tight, and it's okay if they all start bunching up. Again, it's meant to be messy. I want to say sloppy, sloppy dough. I, I know, you loosened up on me. You want it to be as tight as you can. There we go. I that loosened up again, but whatevs. them like this long. Kind of moving that over. I know it looks weird. I know it does how I'm like, Meh. but the whole point of it is to be messy. So you could even just put like the twine in the middle as like your middle piece. Or you can use the ribbon like that in the middle. It's up to you. I feel like these look kind of better with like a burlap or a twine as the middle just because they're messy. You know, like you don't want it looking like super clean and finished because then I feel like that just defeats the purpose of this bow. But Again, you do you, boo, okay? All right, baby is waking up, y'all. So we made this right in time. All right, let me kind of clear this off so you can see. These are super cute on gifts, on like farmhouse projects. And like you can pull these all apart, fluff it out. I'm not digging the, the denim because it's too heavy, so it's kind of flopping over on everything. You could also do this with fabric as well. Yeah, I'm not digging this. Maybe if it had been under. But anyways, this is a messy bow. It's super easy. And if you're not into like the loops and all of those doodads, then this would probably be the perfect bow for you. So I hope this video helped you all out. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to give me a thumbs up, like, share, 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 because it helps my video reach other people. I appreciate you all spending your time with me, and I hope you have an amazing weekend with your friends and family. I need to go to the baby. Appreciate you guys. Bye. something special. Um, what are we doing? Bows, bows, bows. I like tape bows. I can add that. Because you can scroll. I can't leave that on there because I will get copyrighted. Okay. Bows. Mister, really? He drinks water. Good thing this is over. The baby's waking up. <laughs> you guys, I got so much to do.